Locked. Well, this has been monumentous, gentlemen, but I have more important things to attend to. An island to govern, treaties to sign, riches to expedite, and a demanding father to impress! Constantine, it's me! My fair cousin! <laughs> oh, my lucky star! Always there to pull me out of my fight. I do what I can. We are departing soon. Your father wasn't pleased by your absence this morning. Have you ever seen him happy about anything when it comes to me? You know what he thinks of me. He cares about you. I know that. He appointed you governor, didn't he? He is ridding himself of a source of constant disappointment. <sighs> Enough said. Today, we set sail for adventure. If you only knew how these river scum treated me. Do me a courtesy, fair cousin. Now that we stand boldly alongside the brave Kurt, let's give them their money's worth. There's no one left to pay, your highness. The brave Kurt and your cousin have already settled the books. Really now? What a shame. I would have loved to have seen that. We've nothing left to do then than to board our ship. An adventure awaits us at the end of the street. It's not possible just now.
Welcome! It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you seen anything to your liking? What might I help you with? Thank you for your visit. Welcome! It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you seen anything to your liking? What might I help you with? for your visit. See you soon. Madam? Constantine d'Orsay, future governor of Tier Freddy. I'm enchanted, Captain. I am eager to board your ship. Enchanted as well, Your Highness. I hope you enjoy your voyage. Are you ready? Can we weigh anchor? We should be able to set sail with the tide, as agreed upon. I'm still without news of my cabin boy, but we will have to do without. When did you see your cabin boy for the last time? It's been two days since I've had any news at all. It wasn't out of the ordinary until this morning. My men have free shore leave when we're at dock. But the day of departure, every able-bodied sailor must be present on the ship. Does the boy know anyone in Serene? Other than fellow Norts, you mean? I don't think so, but it's difficult to be sure. This Jonas, does he have any close friends amongst the crew? In tradition, we are all members of the same family. But, yes, there would be Flavio and Lauro. Might I have a word with them? As you wish. You'll find them over there, in port. Permission to board the ship. We are ready. Certainly. But keep in mind that we'll be at sea for several months. If you have any farewells to make or any final business to put into order, now is the time. No, my house is in order. We are ready to embark. Perfect. Follow me. I am so eager to discover Tear Freddy. My isle, my new city. You'll need to arm yourself with patience. The voyage will be long. I've been told the trip lasts months. And they say the place is full of gigantic creatures, as big as buildings. That's right. I heard a rumor the Norts even brought me back in one of their ships. I doubt that. The Norts are strange. The beast is awoken! Those conniving, piss-distilling, bridge-building liars. The creature was supposed to be out for days. They'll pay for this. What the hell manner of cargo are you transporting? Help! We need ropes! We must contain it! Help! Come now. Let's send them a hand. Captain! Oh. 
blood. How do you fare? Fine, fine. It is dead. Are you wounded? I'm well. Your lessons have proven effective. I've never seen a beast this size. It's quite extraordinary. Cousin, what a fight. You were illustrious. I'm not of the same mind. I have the feeling it was already weakened. I did nothing more than finish it off. Your humility remains a constant. But believe me, that battle was absolutely epic. Madam, gentlemen. <laughs> Your cousin's enthusiasm is most impressive. This journey is his long-awaited chance to prove his worth. He has a demanding father. More likely, he's just happy to be free of this hornet's nest. I definitely know I am. That's certain. <laughs>